let me talk a little bit about what we're seeing in terms of the broader movement uh, in terms of conservatives, free market advocates embracing changes not only in juvenile justice but in adult corrections. And um, uh, what I think is one of the most significant things going on now is governors across the country, um, uh, conservative governors, pushing corrections reform. And, uh, you know, I think many conservatives used to kind of view uh, criminal justice like some people talk about with the military. We have to spend whatever it takes no matter what. And, you know, uh, there's some truth in that. I mean, if you have a murderer or a rapist, you want to lock him up as long as necessary. And of course, in Texas, the, some, some, many of our murderers end up uh, going to the electric chair. Um, but we, we, the one thing we do know that incarceration does is in incapacitates. It usually does very little else. It's not particularly good for rehabilitation. But what we've, uh, what, what happened is, I think historically, if you look at it in, in the, um, in the 60s, there was a uh, kind of feel-good culture. If it feels good, do it. There was a, a, a view among some on the far left that, that individuals weren't personally responsible for crime. It was society's fault. And the, so then conservatives in the 70s, as crime rates started to go up, reacted against that. And I think rightfully so. Uh, but it's kind of like a pendulum. And so we starting from the 70s till you know uh, the early 2000s we saw a six-fold increase in incarceration nationally um, a lot of the juvenile system came after Columbine the reaction to that states threw up juvenile prisons left and right and so this pendulum needed to swing but it swung too far and we started sweeping in a lot of low-level nonviolent drug offenders shoplifters all these people into the prison system juvenile and adult and of course it got to be incredibly expensive and so uh, it kind of brings us to the point where today where conservatives are saying, look, we, um, we reject the old liberal ideas, but we also think we need to be cost effective. Um, and we need to distinguish who we're afraid of versus who we're mad at.